Welcome back guys. I'm gonna talk about turning betrayal into personal growth. And this is something that I work with every day and I work with it all the fucking time. I don't, I don't talk about it necessarily a whole lot on this channel, but I talk about this all the time with guys. And this is something that I'm the absolute expert on and how to turn betrayal into personal growth as fast as fucking possible. So you're gonna start living an amazing and seductive life. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. The first step is to just acknowledge the fact that you're hurting. Just stop. Just stop. Take a moment. Just acknowledge the fact that you're fucking hurting, man. Most men don't want to do it. Most people don't want to acknowledge the fact that this shit hurts until it becomes so heavy, it just explodes out of them into tears and sorrow and mourning. You just have to acknowledge that you're actually hurting. Be kind to yourself. You're just a man. You're just human. You make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You did the best you could with what you got. If you known you could have done something different, you would have. That motherfucker's already dead. You'll never go back to that guy. How do I know? Check in right now. Would you ever be that guy again? I thought so. He's dead. So, acknowledge that pain. Allow it to be there. Allow that mourning process to go. And in this place, you'll find some peace because you're being with yourself. You're consoling yourself. You're giving yourself the kind of self-love that you probably ignored for the last 15 years. And it doesn't last forever. It does come to an end. But only if you sit with it. Only if you stay with it and allow it to be there. If you keep trying to hide from it, if you keep trying to sedate with alcohol or drugs or prostitutes or just diving into your work, all you're doing is you're just extending the process out indefinitely. Because what I do know is time does not heal. It just helps you forget. And then something else happens. You go down to an old restaurant, hear a song on the radio, smell of an old box with your old keepsakes in it, and it all just comes back because it still wasn't processed. You just forgot about it. So take time to acknowledge where you're at. Separate yourself. You are not the betrayal. You are just a spiritual being who is experiencing a situation. It is a betrayal situation and the betrayal isn't your fault. Sure, you could have greased the wheels on it, but it was her decision, not yours. You didn't do the betrayal. Now, you did betray yourself, which is why you got into the situation. And if you're still trying to make this work with her and you keep giving her all this fuel to keep hitting you with, and you keep rewarding her for this behavior, yeah, that's on you. But the betrayal itself is not you. And separate yourself from it. Just look at it, objectively. Just look at the situation as it is and say, oh, this is interesting. Let's see what's going on here. How am I reacting? Oh, that's interesting how I'm reacting. Oh, that's interesting how she's reacting. Is this what I want? And your ability to just separate yourself a little bit from it, depersonalize the situation, is gonna give you key, key insights into what needs to change now. Because with you blended in and being all wrapped up in this betrayal, oh, I'm in a betrayal, my wife's fucking cheating on me, holy shit, and you're freaking the fuck out, it's not gonna to lead to a good lasting solution. You're just gonna keep pushing her away, you're gonna get yourself in a situation where you get the cops called, and now it's all downhill from here, you're all fucked. So take a moment, depersonalize yourself from it. Watch it for what it is. Be objective about the situation. And then you'll start getting some better insights as to what you need to do moving forward. You know, there's a joke in a corporate world. It's like, there's no problems, just opportunities, right? And as dumb as that sounds, this is true. Instead of looking at this betrayal situation as a problem, look at it as an opportunity for you to grow. Because there's obviously something massive within you that needs to shift. And you've been ignoring it for a long time, and now it's come and hit you in the face. And so look at this. This is an opportunity to grow. Yeah, growth sucks a lot of the time. Growth hurts, growth is painful. Transformation requires you to just break down completely in order to build yourself up anew. Remember, this is a learning process because the guy that's coming out on the other side of this is not this fucking guy. This guy who's sitting here all sad and moping around, the guy that's gonna come out of this could be fucking powerful. As you have to have faith in that guy. Have faith that you are smart enough to figure this out. Have faith that you, no matter what goes down, can tap into your indomitable spirit and fucking go. The first thing you probably learned is a lot of shit you don't like. 
A lot of shit you just don't fucking want in your life. So this is a great opportunity to start strengthening your boundaries. What are you not gonna tolerate? Most men tolerate so much bullshit in their life that they become fat as hell, no relationship with God, sedating all the time, in a shitty job, or in a business that completely consumes their life with a woman they shouldn't really be with and kids that absolutely hate them and they rely on screen time for any kind of human interaction in their lives. So what is it that you're willing to be intolerant of? Because that's where your growth's gonna come from. Stop accepting the bullshit. Like, what are you intolerant of? And if you're not intolerant, if you're still give, making excuses for your wife, you're still making excuses for all the other shit, you're not intolerant enough. As long as you keep doing this, you're just gonna get more of it. You're asking the universe to give you more bullshit. So when are you gonna get intolerant about your health? When are you gonna get intolerant about the stuff you put in your mouth? When are you gonna get intolerant about your kids look, looking at the screens all fucking day? When are you gonna get intolerant about the fact that your wife's fucking another guy? Like, when's it gonna stop? Because it's not going to stop unless you make it stop. And sitting here watching this YouTube video will be good. And you should watch this one because I'm going to tell you, you've got to go make some changes right now. You've got to get intolerant. Stop tolerating it. Stop trying to be the nice guy. Stop trying to be so fucking understanding. You don't have to be understanding. You know perfectly well what the fuck is going on. Stop being so understanding. Just go do what you got to do. You know what you got to do. Just do it. Strengthen those boundaries. Get clear on what it is that you will not tolerate anymore and then make sure that these boundaries are not crossable. Intolerance. Complete intolerance for what is not acceptable in your life. Once you've gotten intolerant of these things, it's gonna create some space for you. You're gonna have some space to where you can actually start making some changes in your life. In fact, you're gonna be very motivated by your anger, and hopefully I poured some of that anger into you, that you're gonna decide, I'm gonna make some fucking changes. And this will create some space for your own self-improvement. This self-improvement is where your confidence is gonna be born from. This place of creating discipline and habits of things that you could not normally do before. And now that you're doing them on a regular basis, you're gonna look at yourself and you're gonna be proud of yourself. Maybe it's for the first time in 20 years. And we gotta foster that. Foster that feeling of being proud of yourself and moving forward. This is a great time to use this. Use this energy of intolerance, of sadness, of anger, of pain, and use it to go after the things that you need in your life. We're gonna turn this betrayal situation into a fucking winning situation. You can't do it unless you decide you're intolerant of things and you create a new path forward for yourself. With that being said, we're gonna turn this pain into a purpose. Like, what do you want your life pointed towards? Because what it was pointed towards before we just didn't have a good solid foundation to go after it. Even if you had a purpose from God, you obviously didn't have a foundation that would have supported whatever purpose you're gonna grow, grow and drive towards. And so now you have a moment to back up and actually create a solid foundation that you can actually go do that big shit that you wanted to do. And if you've never thought about doing big shit, now's the time to start thinking about doing it. Why? Because you can use this pain to drive you forward faster than you could have done anything else in your life, I promise you. Pain of a betrayal is one of the greatest determining factors of a guy to make massive transformation in his life that I've ever seen. The next one is the fleeting one of being in the honeymoon phase with a woman that he absolutely knocks his socks off. He will do fucking anything in that state. But it's a fleeting state. But the pain of a betrayal is one that leaves, sticks with him forever because he doesn't want to go back to that guy because he, the cost is just not worth it. And it was the same for me back in 2015 when I found out that my ex-wife was cheating on me. I was like, I don't want to be that fucking guy anymore. I am changing right the fuck now. I'm never going to go back there. I'm going to be completely different. Not for her, but for me. Because I don't want to go through this. I want to be looking at myself as a failure. I want to be a guy that goes out and actually has the indomitable spirit and fucking wins. And that's going to be you. Being cheated on is fucking devastating. It will lay you low. It is the worst pain you will ever experience outside of maybe losing a child. I can't think of anything else worse. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I know I went through it myself and it fucking blows. The good news is, is this is the cusp of your massive transformation. If you want to kickstart on this transformation for yourself, check out my book, Betrayed to Badass. I wrote Betrayed to Badass for you. The book is free. Just cover the shipping costs. And I made it for you because I know a lot of guys aren't willing to look for help. And so we're trying to make it as enticing as possible so they can actually figure out how to get out of this fucking mess. Click the link in the description to get the book. This book will help revolutionize the way that you think, the way that you operate, and the way that you present yourself in relationships with your kids, with your business, and with your future partner. It, maybe it's your wife. Maybe you'll retract her back. Maybe not. I'm of the opinion that if she's cheated on, you probably should move on. Because it takes a certain kind of callous to cheat on somebody and tell you that they love you every fucking day when they lay down next to you and then gaslight you about it. 
You're worth more than that, brother. You're worth way the fuck more than that. Get that fucking book, Betray the Badass. If you like this video, hit subscribe. If you want to see more of it, hit the like button. And brother, I'm with you. Thank <laughs> you.